Control V and you're done. Thing. Excel Wizard. And you also know you can now get fan temperature in Fahrenheit. Look at that. Okay, we're moving back in the right direction. But Ed, Ed never even replied. It's not like yay, nay, boo. Took me hours to do that. I hope you know. He's happy. He acknowledged it to me. He is. That's all we can ask for. Barometers uh, still in the red, so you can tell by the fog out there. This well, rat tail is going to come see us. Ship's going east. Hello. Ah, he said hello. See him open his eye. I like their funny little lips. <laughs> they have like this little frowny face. Is this a cable we crossed earlier? Is this a new cable? Oh, you came We already crossed that one. We've been backing up. Back now. Yeah. 20 meters. There's an Umbalula. Oh, that's impressive, Oreo. Are you using the force to make the ship go east? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Rich. Can you say again? I, I'm having a hard time hearing you. I can't hear you either. Okay. You're moving the right direction, though. That's awesome. Yep. Everyone will the vessel to go east. It'll happen. First time I asked for a vessel move on to Thompson, used to, you know, ships doing this. I asked them to go starboard. Mm -hmm. They turned their head and went, I'm like, what are you, are you doing? doing? <laughs> I'm going 10 right. meters that way. Well, you just turn. <laughs> are we good to continue surveying this cable or are we still waiting for Argus to move? We are waiting. The ship. We'll be waiting a while for Argus. It's in Hawaii. The other one. Atlanta. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're waiting for the ship. It's going to continue moving. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe not. If you see the nav screen here, he's struggling. Maybe so we lost DP for a moment. He um, had to reset the DP. Now he's played with his heading, and he didn't intend for it to slide 15, 10 meters to the east. And just that's the way it happened to go. Can we change plans a little bit and follow this oily cable to the northwest? Northwest. Mm, yeah. We can let the ship do its thing and see how far we can get. We can go northwest. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's, we're still waiting on uh, word from yeah. the bridge. Yeah. Well, we can't really go too much further in any direction other than back the way we came. Well, West will bring us towards the ship, but I guess we still, yeah. Yeah. yeah we're still going to fight Atlanta.
I'm going to run up to the bridge for a minute. Okay. You want to jump back in here, Danny? Looks like we're losing ground again. Go ahead, Bridge. Okay, this is... Um, we wanted to go 20 meters, zero, three, zero. Uh, that sounds great. Okay, watch lead. Uh, it sounds like we're gonna try to go in the direction we wanted to go. Okay. See if that works out. Um, he has a confidence that it should be okay. Should be better now. Okay, right on. If that's the case, we can make our way this way. We'll stick to the plan A and we'll follow plan the a. green cable. Yeah, to the if northeast. plan A doesn't work, then we'll try plan B. Yeah. I like all the sea pigs. <laughs> there were a ton last night. Yeah. I didn't even notice them. They blend in. You know, echinoderms kind of dominate this uh, muddy sand continental shelf. They don't look very alive, though, or lively. Oh, they're just doing their thing. <laughs> what are they doing down here? They're just vacuum cleaning. Yeah, they yeah. just filter filter through the mud. Yeah, they're vacuum cleaners of the deep. So I really like these snails that were like laying their eggs on the whale fall building their towers. Yeah, tower of, I've never seen that before. Oh, what are you doing? Our USBL is freaking out. Oh yeah. Both USBLs are... I don't think we have too much further to go on this cable than we got last time. So you guys think you can just kind of pull? I, I'm pulling 100% right now. Oh, really? You're fully stretched out, yes. Uh -huh. Feels like we made it 20 meters further before. Yeah, we had made it 20 meters further, and then the ship started to, when it lost DP, backtrack. Okay. <clears throat> And then now we're finally gaining ground again. In that oh, I see. Yep. Go ahead, Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, Dan. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Roger. keep us going. All right. Sounds perfect. That's what we want to hear. Captain Dan at the helm. <laughs> I 
And look at this happy little Corifanoides. Where were you during the during the forty five minute transit? <laughs> um, you know, napping. <laughs> a little camera shy. Yeah, sometimes they get really interested in the ROV, and other times they're just like, "Well, I don't know, I'm just gonna hang out in the spotlight." <laughs> Oftentimes we'll see them like behind the ROV, kind of, I don't know, stalking us. <laughs> and I think they use us as a, a tool to uh, see stuff around the area. So those rat tail fish, they're one of the larger predators and scavengers down at these depths. Also known as grenadiers, right? Yes. I'm not really sure where the grenadier uh, name comes from. Probably to uh, help people that confuse them with ratfish. Mm -hmm. And these little redfish or rockfish, the Sebastes. Idiots or Sebastolobus? Yeah, probably. It could be Sebastolobus. Still learning them. There's a lot of different different ones around here. Yeah, the, the local fishermen call them idiots, uh, <laughs> also known as, uh, uh, what are they, thorny heads? Yeah. I guess they do kind of have thorny heads. You know, their shallow water cousins often have, like, venomous spines, but I don't know if the deep see ones have that. Yeah, they're spiny. Yeah. Hey Nav, how far are we from the um, BPR target that's there? VPR target? Yeah, the BPR is like right under the ship on high pack. See bullseye BPR 2022 08. Oh, okay. I yeah. see it. Oh, let me get that. Uh, <laughs> about 50 meters. Okay, thank you. Like the ship yeah. is moving the wrong I think way. it's got to be 119. Ship's moving the wrong way. Yeah, see so it backtracking again. Uh -huh. and I, I, I stopped making forward progress. So if this Great is 119, now. what happened to 110? Where did it fall off? Um, looks like. We're not moving exactly in the direction we wanted to go. Are you guys having trouble up there? <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes, we yeah. still like to go northeast. No, we have not. All right. Thanks. Oh, 
let's come down and look at the C4. Mm hmm. Yeah, we can look at some of the stuff. Maybe you can find something good to zoom in on. Give the video guy something to do. Yeah. Pete's over here bored out of his mind. <laughs> <laughs> let's see some sea pigs. Yeah, a big yeah. family of them. Give me some zoom. Zoom in on some sea pigs as I get t dragged backwards. <laughs> Oh, look how yummy they look. Mm hmm. Yeah. This bacon from a land pig is delicious. Grab the suction sample. Bacon from a sea pig, maybe not so much. You think we could eviscerate one on? <laughs> Suck it up. <laughs> they look pretty small. They'd probably go straight through. Sorry, it's hard to s hold steady when I'm getting dragged backwards. <laughs> So Megan, we were doing our transect earlier, and there were these giant like tunnels bored into the ground. What what caused that? What? Um, well, there are a bunch of animals that burrow. So if it's a bioturbated thing, um, uh, there's the spoonworms will will burrow into the ground. They create like, these. They were like that big around. They yeah, some some animals holes. make like U-shaped holes. Um, maybe some. Crabs will burrow large holes. Um, ROV, we're going to change our plans here a little bit. All we're right. gonna, we're going to turn around and follow this cable back okay. the way it came. All right, so, Danny, you're going to have to come up on the delta. Okay. Well, what are you thinking, 20, 25? Probably 25, probably 30, actually. Coming up 30. As I come back around. And then if you want to throw into auto heading as well on Argus or Atalanta. Auto heading is on. What do you want me to go to? Um you can stay where you're at for now. Okay. Like hell, there's just like one rock. <laughs> okay, I'll stop thirty meter delta. So it looks like uh, my heading is the southwest. Yep. Well, no, that's your heading. My heading is... Uh, uh, I'm coming back under, you can see now in the Argus screen, or the Adelaide yeah. screen. I'm, paint, I'm pointing due north. You can match uh, Herc's heading. Okay. Coming back to about 200 degrees. You won't let them know on the bridge we've changed our plans? Yeah. Um, so. Even though it looks like Dan finally learned how to drive the boat? Yeah, it yeah. looks like we're finally yeah. going the direction <laughs> finally we want to go. Going northeast. Yeah. Well, yeah, just if they could just stop there and we can get a sense of where these cables go and come up with a plan. Okay. Bridge nav. Yeah, so after this move, um, we're not going to make another one. We're going back to where we came from. So this is that loop that we saw. Yeah, this is the loop. So that's got to be more than 70 meters um, already. Yeah, you could just stop the ship. Yes, please. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. We're, s we're starting to think that 110 isn't a thing maybe and it's all 119. Or 110 is somewhere else. So this is the BPR cable that it's under. So can we follow this 
Actually, let's um, let's just turn to our left here. Okay. What's on top of both of those? Or is it under on that? No, it's on top. It's, it's on, on top, top on both, yeah. yeah. Let's turn all the way to our left. Yep. There should be, there's kind of a mystery cable in our diagram that we're going to try to find. So keep going left. Okay. This is the cable that's tight. Back towards the platform? No, keep going oh. left. All right. Sorry about that. And keep going left. Yep. So that's the new Imaginex there on the right. This is the CCD yeah. cable we just put down. Yeah. So we should be right over top of that mystery cable. I don't see it. So keep keep coming around to your left. I know we're probably going to put a twist in your tether. We can take it out after. There it is right there. No. no. That's just a yeah. sea creature. Yeah, I don't know what, I don't think there's anything there. Maybe just continue straight at this heading. Okay. I'm gonna come up to 35 as I come under. I wanna come under you, 35 meters. Okay. It looked like this is actually here, and then there's the connector, and then this cable just sort of keeps going. I think that connector we saw is this connector here, no? Uh, maybe, but it was it was just, it was at the end. Yeah. Yeah, so, so it would be like that. There's okay. a flounder. We're back onto our yeah. green cable, so I think we just done a we just did a loop. We just did a loop. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know if you if you need to take your turn out, you can go ahead. Uh, we're actually okay. Who would you like uh, August ahead? I mean, uh, Atlanta thing. Um, you can match. Now the other ship to move. Do you think we should just just go further? Yeah. No. I mean, let's. Confirm, confirm that it's yeah. longer than 70 meters. Okay. Once we've done that. All right, so back on the green cable. Back on the green okay. cable to the northeast there. All right, so would you like me to put in that ship move? Start it now, so. Yeah, start it now. Feel. Yeah, sure. And we'll catch up. Bridge nav. All right, so we're going to make a 20 meter move, zero three zero. Thank you. We, we can also follow 391 to the northwest because just see if there's another crossing mm -hmm. over here. Well, let's make sure we get past our 70 meter mark so we know. Yeah. I mean, we were, we were pretty much there. Yeah, we were very close. Ship's a lot further northeast now, so we should... Okay, now you can come down on the delta to maybe like 20. Coming down to 20. I'm going to stretch out again. We've seen this rock before. We definitely have seen <laughs> this rock before. <laughs> Deja vu. Looks very familiar.
Oh, you can take off auto heading. I'm right, because I'm pulling you now. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Auto heading off. Yep. You're gonna pull me if I'll be on the reciprocal, correct? Yeah. I was like, why am I fighting you? <laughs> <laughs> I can see you, I can't see you. I see you, I can't see you. I believe this is a new patch of green cable. The part we've yet to see. But we're waiting on Atalanta to catch up. Hmm? No, we're, we're way out here. the ship finish that move? Yeah, we just finished. Okay. Should I put another 20 meter move? Or 10? It seems like it. Yeah. Okay. Yes, can we have another 20 meter move? 030? Zero, zero? Thank you. Yeah, Dan, go ahead. Uh huh. Right. Mm hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I'd just throw in another 20 after this one, too. Because we're okay. fully stretched out, so. All right. Um, well, now, quick, before you do that. Yeah, it's yep. going well. Um, Jake says that maybe we could just make it a 40 meter move instead. We're not sure how long this cable is, so I didn't want to like overshoot it by too much. We only need to confirm that it's longer than 70 meters. No, not no, really. it's not bad. Okay. Okay. 
sounds good. No. Nope. No, not yet. We kind of just looped back around. ROV? Yeah. Go ahead. Can we measure our distance from our location to the BPR? Yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm happy. Um, yeah, Megan, we what's We are uh, like? about 85 meters away. Okay, so I think we've confirmed that this cable is longer than 70 meters, so I think we can abandon this task. Okay. Um, where do we want to go next? So we'll go back to the IP. Okay, so I'll stop the ship. All right. Fridge nav. All right, thanks. And I'm coming back your way, so you're going to have to come back up on the Delta. Yep, to all and back in. Yep, yep. Uh, do you want to come down? I wanna follow I mean, this if you want to follow this that way, just to see. No, I could, not worth uh, it. Yeah. Okay. Coming back up to 30. Larval traps. Yeah, come down. Yeah. No. Yeah. We can update the site layout diagram. But I don't know where this extension 110 is. That's just. I'll stop throwing it around here. Okay. You can throw your auto heading back on. Can you face same 225. Huh? You can uh, look 225. 225, yeah. 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 Okay. Down, bubble. Yeah. I think that's okay. And the sonar bell. Do we want to do the sonar bell now then so we don't have to come back this way? Okay, so we'll do marble traps. We'll pick up the CTD. Okay. Do you think I really they have just, access uh, to getting the T-Boss? We'll ask them if they have access to the T-Boss with the CTD okay. on the porch. Because we might have to leave the CTD and come back to it. Just do the sonar bell. Back to CTD. Yeah. If they can't reach the T-Boss with the CTD on the porch, then we might have to go do sonar bell and then just pick the CTD up and then head down to bubble catching. Oh, this is, yeah, actually, no, this is further than I thought. So let's take the CTD and maybe we'll just have to put it down everywhere. Okay, so... Okay, so oh, are we down. going back to the IP? Back to the IP, please. All right. Uh, 
Okay, so that's auto depth. How high off the deck should we be? Yeah, so that's why I, I started giving a counter. Can we make a 40 meter move at 220? Yep. A hundred meters south, yeah. So we'll, we'll just leave the CTD there, and we'll go bubble cache, and then we'll come back and get the CTD at, at the sonar. Yeah. Sold. Okay. Things in the bio box, or in the toolbox. Hey, ROV. Yeah, I'm listening. The bubble catching equipment, is that in your toolbox or in your bio box? Uh, you know, the tool it's in, jug? It's in the front box. It's yeah. in the front box, okay. Yeah. And the bio box is empty? I believe so, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, no, it has, uh, it has one plate in it. That bubble catching plate or bubble. Oh, it's got a checkerboard. Checkerboard thing, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We can move, move that to the toolbox. Yeah. Okay, where are we going? Following the green cable back to the instrument platform. Hey, look, it's that same rock again. <laughs> it's a rock. I feel like at this point we should name it. So uh, easy, easy on the speed there. I'm just surprised there isn't there. anything on it, like like big an enemy or something. Do it like a constant speed. <coughs> um, what's you got? And turn this down and turn that down to about 60 something. It's usually where I fly it. Yeah, I get pulled. And no, yeah, you might. Yeah, Yeah, you don't, you gotta go nice and slow, so, um, it helps to turn your auto heading off, so it's walking around, so if you want to adjust your heading, turn your auto heading off, get the heading you want, and then click it back in, it behaves much better that way. And as you've seen already, there's not a lot of lateral authority, so I would, uh, turn, Take your auto heading off, turn to the right, get back over the cable. Okay. I'm gonna go, uh, go like this. So it's twisting, we get the cable. Twist and tilt too, right? No, twist turns your uh, heading. Yeah. And it'll stay, the heading's pretty stable, so I'm gonna Turn you hard right here. I might have to come down low. That's a good heading there. You can lock that one in. If you fly ahead on that and lateral right, but it doesn't have a lot of lateral when the current's pushing you. Yeah. Keeps pushing me off the cable. Yeah. Let me see for a second. I'll get you back on it. So, it's dumping all the flow there. So, the other thing you watch is your pressure gotcha. there. So, I have no control. Uh, okay. Yeah, so if you let go of it for a minute, it'll come back up. So, it's kind of like a forklift. You're going to turn, fly, and then it pirouettes nicely, but. You can see which way the current's going, so I would 
probably kind of like, you know, a uh, crab here. The Z bias is set to where it's it's pushing you down 24% all the time, so that's stealing a lot. So if you see it, I watch that all the time, and if I see it, you know, dive, I let go of it for a second, comes back up, and I got a little instant power, but then it dies off right away. So I kind of, I don't know if you've been watching me operate it, but on this particular vehicle, I tend to be a little more digital than I would a bigger horsepower vehicle. So it's kind of the same thing that he's doing upstairs with the boat right now. He's, you know, crabbing into it. And you can tell all the fish which way the current's blowing. So, yeah, you wouldn't... It picked up a bit since last time. So something like that. And I try it without the autos. It behaves really nice without the autos. Okay. I'll click in auto heading. <coughs> now and again. I, depends. You'll get the feel of when you want it on, when it's working and when it's not. And then keep an eye on your on your boxes here. We want to be, you know, if we're closer to Atlanta, obviously got to lift it up. And if we're further away, I gotta come down. And just be warned, I'm a horrible Atlanta pilot. <laughs> <laughs> I do really silly things over here I shouldn't do. There goes the tilt running away. So okay, that's the one. Line wrapped around and then goes. If you follow this orange cable to the left, I'll take you to the IP. Okay. That's the one we left that we're going to pick up, I believe. So I'm going to the left? Yep, follow yep. to the left, please. Right. Okay. meters now. There's the IP. Yep. So we're looking for the larval traps that are on the south side of the instrument platform. And we can just sit down uh, in front of them somewhere we'll, we'll, where we will have access to both of them. Okay. I'll probably trade you back now, Danny, while we're around the instrument platform. Okay. I thought we'd be on the cable a lot longer. Probably really loud over there. So that CTD monument is west of the platform, and we want to be south of the platform. Yeah, I know. I put the CTD on it. You just want right on top? Yeah, sure. Do you have a specific uh, direction you want, Adelina? Hmm, you can uh, look at us for a minute, too. Uh, come down five Please. meters for me. Do you want it right over the, the accelerometer? Uh, let's put it right over her, her case now. 
right now. Yeah, sure. So if you keep coming back to the south, we can look for these larval traps. They're right going to be like a white PVC cross. Bridge nav. Can we make a 30 meter move? 195. Thank you. The current is really picked up. It was not like this when I was sitting here before. No, I don't see the my there. What's that? No, we're just looking for our sediment traps. We are our um, larval traps. We don't see them. I'm just waiting to uh, move the boat here. We got a lot of yep. fairly stiff breeze here. Tail to tail at the moment. down another five meters. Maybe. Coming down five meters. So sorry, you said the larval traps are south of the IP. Roger. So if you keep backing up, they might come into view at some point. Okay. Well, I'll let you uh, bring your head to the south a little more now. Center my head to the south. Let's right, go more south. Nope. I think we want to get a little closer to the seabed here. Coming down another seven meters. I do not see them. And they're not marked. We're in 10 meters south of the platform now. We usually put them right by the IPs. Are they low profile? Like, would they have no, maybe got can, covered? You can see them yeah, pretty well. They, they might be covered in sediment, but. Yeah, I think we should head towards the IP. Uh, there's no way they're this far south. We are 15, almost 20 meters. Yeah, let's go back towards the IP. You also make a note in there that there's uh, a bubble and bubble camera. This is probably already. just the JB19 position. It looks like a sea cucumber landed on it. <laughs> <laughs> on site Pacific cameras leak. Hey, Sean. Could you get um, Shore to double check on the position of larval traps 11 and 12?
Nope. I'll stop on Deutsch. If you turn back towards the IP. I'm kind of scouting around. Yeah. I f we usually put them pretty close to the IP, so yeah, I don't know. Do. Maybe you put it in that hole right there. It looks like it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty big hole. <laughs> I don't know if sediments sort of covered that leg. Mm, we've been all around out there and I didn't see them all where we were. Yeah, I know. Uh, I think they'd be pretty obvious. Uh, I can go look around on the other side. They put them out further because they didn't want to uh, get drug over with a cable. Yeah, we've been here. Yeah, we have. And they're not hiding under the IP or anything, are they? I didn't see them under there. But What is in that hole? Is that just like a shell? Yeah, I don't know. Something was uh, digging there. What's this? Wait, sorry, what? Did you circle uh, something? That right there. The light thing? Yeah. That's not like the top of one that got buried, is it? Yeah, I'd have you really buried now. It's just a shell. Is that the home of the octopus that attacked us? Go ahead, right? Bridge. Roger. Okay. Yeah, if that's better, that uh, that works for us. All right. Well, next come task. Up another. Uh, come up another. We're going to go pick up uh, the old CTD that, that we've deposited on the ground. Roger. So that's to the northeast of the IP. Right. You said you want me to come up another five? Yes, please. Coming up another five. Hmm. Could be why they're not on the... Can we double check that? 2021 on... You tilt, uh, tilt right down with your camera, you see the vehicle. Yeah, because there's a bunch of them out there. 
So I think that's the CTD cable bundle to the right there. Yeah. So that's it. Dive done. Grab this thing and head home. No? So we'll pick it up from the CTD end. And where are we well actually where are we gonna go dragging this cable around? What yeah, do you want to do with this thing? We want to carry it over to the sonar bell, which is 116 meters away. Oh, or sorry, to the rotary sonar. So I don't know if we want to just come up in the water column and dangle the cable, or if you want to try to get both the CTD and the cable end on the porch. Yeah, that way we'll we're carrying. We'll grab them both up and carry them over. Okay. We'll give the navigator a I can't really there. hear you very well. Dan. We'll grab them up and carry them over if you give the navigator a range of bearing. Perfect. So, navigator, yeah. our target is going to be 116 meters at a bearing of 124 from the junction box. Okay, 116 meters at 124. Correct. Well, Dan, we should uh, grab the plug first and then the CTD? Or grab CTD? that and hand it to the... Uh, to the uh, Mantis? To the Magnum. Uh, the magnum. Yeah, if you grab it up, I'll get the magnum out. Okay, I'll just grab it by the by, by the knot and hang it, and you can grab it for the yeah. handle. Or yeah, just grab it by the monkey fist, and okay. uh, then you can hand me These the larval monkey traps fist. were recovered in July. What the hell? Okay, let's see it now. Yeah, stop, stop, swing right, swing right. You're hitting the camera. Ooh. Where did the arm come from? <laughs> Hold on before you grab it. Yep. Not, not ready yet. I'm having trouble holding the vehicle there. And of course, can you pop that cable off of there for me? Put the rope in the jaws there, don't twist it up. Put under your monkey, monkey fist, Danny. <laughs> of course, the cable's pulling towards the other direction. Untwist your uh, monkey fist and put the rope in the jaws of the magnum. That's better. I have to 
this way back then. Okay, you can grab it by the uh, hockey puck. No, that thing in the mud. Gotcha. And you can grab it by the handle. It's fine. And you can start moving the ship. All right. Didn't want to start moving until I well, picked right. everything up. Right Bridge nav. Can we make a 110 oh. meter move at 115? Grab the ODI connector, Danny. Correct. Yes. Danny. Yeah. Grab the ODI connector. Nice and slow, that's better. The jerky movements make me nervous. And then if you just squeeze the arm, that'll be good. Okay. Just freeze it there, man. What? Just freeze the arm. Yes. Stop moving. Okay, on frozen. Roger. We're going to be here for a while, so you can set it down if you want. Oh, okay, so you want to change heading? So you can. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, change heading now and then the, uh, head in our direction. Coming up five meters? No, yeah, keep coming you. up. Just keep coming up. Gotcha. Yeah. How many? I don't know. Just maintain the delta there. Maintain so, Dan, we're going to have to wait delta. a little while. Uh, the ship wants to change okay. heading. Yeah, copy it, yeah. You ready to change the heading? Okay. Well, what was the uh, bearing again, Megan? Bearing was... 115. 115, right I have a really good memory. It's just really short. <laughs> 115. How far was it? 110 meters. So you moved the ship 110 meters, did you? Mm-hmm. Right yeah, we're headed down here. Um, let me zoom out for you. Sorry, what's up? Um, I have a marker. Uh, I'm right. just going to zoom out. We're going here. Why am I going that way then? I need to go this way. I forgot to press that go this way button. I did press the go this way button. Mm -hmm. this opportunity to clean some mud off the vehicle.
can bang it off of there. What are you trying to do? <laughs> Get that mine off the vehicle. Oh. Uh, you can make your head bump five if you want as well. You probably can't now because I'm pulling you. What do you want me to do? Make your heading one one five. One one five, got you. So what's the plan when we uh, get to the next location? So what we're going to do is we're just going to put the CTD down somewhere near the sonar that's out there. We're then going to go inspect the sonar bell, which is 13 meters away from this location where we're headed. Uh, we're going to clean it with the T-Boss. Then we're going to go and try to do some bubble catching south of the sonar. Right. And then we'll probably pick the CTD up when we're ready to surface. We're just bringing it with us so that we don't have to head back to the IP. Right. So when we do get to the sonar, which is kind of where we're headed, we'll just want to make sure that we place the CTD like, I guess, far enough away that the cable's not going to sort of tangle on anything. Yeah. Sound good? Yeah. Bubble hunting. From it's going to be Those exciting. Be better. I think I'm pulling your heading around. Yeah, you are. Should I just shut off auto heading and let you drag me? No, I need to be patient. You should smack me when I'm doing that. Stop it! Stop it! Usually you complain loudly, you're dragging me, you're dragging me. This <laughs> <laughs> ain't working. No, I'll stop and wait. Gotta okay, get impatient. We can only go as fast as we can go. I keep uh, <laughs> pressing the tether out pedal and it never yeah, works. Yeah, tether out, tether out. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even use our pedal. Mm -hmm. We have one, but we don't use no, it. No, we have a little flip switch, a little stick. Uh, yeah, we got a little stick. stick. Hey, Oreo, can you go any faster? <laughs> Just going astern, right? Yeah. Ship doesn't like to go this way. Faster, faster. <laughs> I didn't know there was such thing as a 390 degrees. 390? <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a known a known bug. <laughs> so I had to stop it and it then reset. Yeah. You figured it out? Yeah. Yeah, that's a wood's whole thing, 390 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> when we first discovered that on the Argus, I forget who it was. Um, oh, it was Ren on the last expedition. I was like, this thing's trying to go to 410 degrees. I'm like, what? He kept saying that. And I'm like, oh, it's busy over here. <laughs> Half painted. Like, what are you talking about, dude? <laughs> I finally gave him enough attention to. But by then he had already figured it out. How it ROV? Yeah, go ahead. I just got word that the sonar bell may be west of the target I gave you. So just as we approach it, it might be about five meters west. So as we sort of get into the vicinity, we might want to come down and see if we get any targets in sonar. Just right. so we don't drag the cable over anything. What's a sonar bell? A sonar bell is like a ball on a, a ball. stick. <laughs> on a stick. All on a stick. You'll see. <laughs> Lots of excitement. We have one on deck, actually. Mm, I saw that tube with a black ball on the end of it. Yeah, that's it. What kind of bad science is that? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Martin can tell us what a sonar bell does. Uh -huh. 
Martin says it's a calibrated sphere to a negative 20 decibels for 270 kilohertz. Mm -hmm. It does sound like a very science definition. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Martin. Other than ball on stick. Ball on stick, ball otherwise stick. known as a calibrated wow. sphere. I feel like we've given you zero answers. We're <laughs> over two. They're both true, though. Yeah, maybe. But not very helpful. I actually don't know much about the sonar system at all. Do you know what it does? It looks for bubbles. It looks for bubbles. So how do you catch the bubbles? Well, that's for oh, us to find tuned. out. Stay <laughs> We I'm just like envisioning a like a little butterfly net. <laughs> we have a calibrated bubble catcher. Think more of like a uh, like a measuring cup, okay. a large measuring cup that will be turned Measure. upside down, and then bubbles will get trapped in the top of it. And then we'll we'll look at the sort of graduations on it, so we know how full the measuring cup is. Okay. And then before we leave, we'll turn it right side up and the bubbles will disappear. So are the, are the bubbles air? Um, apparently, when we catch them, they will very quickly turn into uh, gas hydrates. Okay. Which is very cool. That's yeah, I'm, cool. Wow, that's why I'm up. I want to see these <laughs> hydrates more. <laughs> Fascinating. They are methane. Methane gas is what's bubbling up. Methane oh, seeps. Is it considered a seep? A cold seep, according to Dr. Martin Shervath. There's some interesting biological communities at cold seeps. What's our uh, range to that target here? Um, we've got... I'm following the cable to it. About the 30 meters left to go. go. Okay. So maybe we'll so go 15 more meters and then there. we'll come down. Well, I just don't want to drag over anything, so... Yep. I can see the seabed there and see the green cable on the seabed. I don't know if you can see it there. You can see it to the left of the... Uh, left of the cable that's right in the center of the camera. Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Been yeah. following that for a while. It's off to the south of the target there, but I'm mm -hmm. assuming there's a sonar ball at the end of it. I feel like it's we'll probably just the, the ball on the stick. Ball on the stick? <laughs> That? This will take us to the Imaginex sonar. I think the sonar bell is autonomous. It doesn't have a cable to it. Correct. Oh, okay. Yep. So I should not follow this cable anymore. Well, no, no. You can follow it. It's where we want to go. We just want to make sure we don't drag over this sonar bell, which we might not see. Yeah. I might not see it from here. I could come down a little bit. Yeah, might show up in our sonar, great. though. <laughs> Suspicious, right, right there. What's that? The lasers between the lasers. Yeah, I see it. Thank you. Yeah, that looks like the sonar itself. Can we set this thing down here then? Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're caught on any on any sonar bell. Oh look, there's a sonar bell right there too. Oh us. yeah, there it is. Nice. Sometimes you get lucky. Uh, you'll have to come right down with me, Danny. Get ready 
to open your jaws. Go ahead and drop that thing and deploy. Deploy. Nice. Okay, so let's just go and do a Can you inspection move? of the Imaginex sonar. Can you slow the magnum for yep. me? First, we'll just go and have a look at the one that's cabled, and then we'll come back and we'll clean the sonar bell. I do. We'll probably, uh, ship's still moving, so I'm going to come around and put my nose into the breeze here and wait for the ship. We have 23 meters left on the ship move. looking pretty furry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Time for a haircut. It looks very tippy. Can you, uh, yeah, I'm surprised it it's... Uh, what do you need? What works well is the T-Boss the spinny Sp action. Spin cycle? Yeah. What you need, Dan? Uh, because it so also has give as well, give so if you just take a, how far away I am a swipe, it, you know, it'll kind of... Yeah, it'll bounce away. The yeah. 10 meter boxes is what I like. Okay. Otherwise, i got to stare at it for too long and then I lose the plot somewhere else. Okay. So I can see out of the corner of my eye that... I can, I can do that for you. Is that just like a five gallon bucket? The orange thing? <laughs> Flower pot with holes? <laughs> yeah. It's a, an Imaginex sonar something. <laughs> I feel like there's a third word that I'm Rotary. Blanking on. Rotary sonar. Thank you. <laughs> look up and look at Hercules now. Uh, we call it the chicken bucket. <laughs> yeah. The chicken bucket. That, that makes sense. I mean, it makes sense when you see it, sort of, but when you're talking about deploying a chicken bucket without <laughs> any context, it makes no sense. Like we, so we, we, we really, really always concerned. call it the chicken bucket, yeah. <laughs> but for someone new coming in, like, it, it doesn't make any sense. I don't think, we don't clean these, though, eh? So like, it looks like there's some... Video? I don't think this so, but it would be good, Martin, if you could... Give us some guidance on Repeat that. Yeah, let down. us know if there's anything we need to do. Zoom in a bit, Pete. That's good. Right there, and Martin is typing now. Yeah. Probably doesn't want us scratching the uh, unit. Maybe a good look at the plate head. Yeah, that's what we're trying to get you. He might just be a few seconds behind us on the video feed. So if we just, yeah, hold here and zoom in on that instrument. Uh, don't zoom until I say zoom, Pete. Don't listen to the back row. They're talking to me, not to you. If you zoom, then I start pulling back and we get in a vicious cycle. Apologies. No worries. Uh, just I'll, I'll get closer so they can see. Then when I get in a happy spot, I'll ask you to zoom in without touching it. <laughs> It's not off, is it? No, nope. we did not turn it off. Push in just a little bit more. 
We did not cut power to it. Yeah. So we if we're going to keep off, we should turn it off. Keep going, keep going. I don't think Martin wants us to touch it, it looks like. Yeah. It'll rotate in nine minutes. Okay. So we're good here, folks, so we can go back to the okay, sonar bell. Go in, Pete. Go in. Full in. What I was doing there is um, just kind of balancing and then waiting a minute till the um, vehicle kind of stops moving around. If we zoom in too soon, I lose the uh, orientation. So we can just sit down nice and close to the sonar bell, and then we'll dig the T-boss out of the toolbox. Right or it might be on the porch, Yeah, actually. you can stop the ship. Thanks. Uh, you can look down, Danny. Maybe uh, show me the tether. So are you ready for the T-Boss? Is that what I'm hearing? Yep. What's the T-Boss? Toilet brush of science. The toilet brush of science. <laughs> and that's in the toolbox? It is. We put it in there last minute. Uh, we gave it to Jake. Oh, so that's the thing that was giving me crap. Okay. What a bunch of science. That thing that's Irish all covered. It's chilly. It's like a way. Thank you. We talk about the thing that's all <laughs> covered in duct tape. <laughs> Looks like it, yeah. That should be right, yeah. <coughs> Remember to be super careful around that Kool Aid jug. Yeah, I already cracked it. Yeah. That's the bubble catcher. Right oh, there. nice, yeah. the bubble catcher. Yeah, so that's the basically very large measuring cup. Is it okay that it's kind of cracked? It's not ideal, way. but because, as long as it because it'll escape. be upside down, mm -hmm. so the bottom of it is looks still looks okay, and that's where we'll catch the bubbles. Great. Come on, Jaws. <laughs> what tool is this? It looks like a toilet brush with duct tape around it. That's exactly what yeah, it but is. <laughs> but it's a special one because it's for science. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we call this the T-Boss, T-B-O-S, Toilet Brush of Science. Oh, okay. the name so finally makes sense. pull the porch out, I'll lay it down and I grab it. No, I won't do that, no. Oh, grab it with the mantis? Uh, not mantis, sorry, but the... Uh, I saw that name on the dive plan. I didn't know what it was. It all makes sense now. Yeah, there's the T-Boss and the chicken bucket. <laughs> all in one frame right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I think that's a highlight. <laughs> I think the one that we have on, on deck actually has a picture of Colonel Sanders on it. Oh yeah, I saw that earlier. Oh, I was wondering what that was. Okay, stick Shout out to KFC, maybe we can get some free. Yeah, uh, that rope or the handle, whatever. <laughs> no, Probably the handle. Make it her head. You could deliver it to Marine Technology Center. <laughs> North Sandwich, British Trying Columbia. to get an endorsement deal over here. That's right. <laughs> what does it take? 
I mean, it's kind of amazing how many um, household tools are great scientific instruments. Indeed. Grab yeah. it the same way that... Um, Go ahead, Bridge. The Magnum's got it. Okay, we're, we're good here. We don't need to move for a while. So um, yeah, please figure out the best heading for you. The next move will be to the south. Nav? Yes, go ahead. I don't know if you want to just let the bridge know. The next move okay, you can let go. will be to the south, yeah, about 100 meters. Okay. Yep, I'm locked. Um, uh. Maybe in the next 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, they're going to figure out the heading first. They're having a hard time holding position here. OK. Uh, that's what he was calling to tell me. So I told him, we're not, we're orienting here. And uh, when he's looking happy, yeah, I'll let him know we're going to move south. The toilet okay. brush of science. Tuck the arm in, <laughs> Danny. So Dan, a good technique for cleaning this thing because it's got so much play is to try to spin the jaw. So I don't know if you want to sort of like smear it to get it more aligned with the parallel jaw. No. Infinite rotate like. Grab it this way on purpose so we can use the wrist. So. You mean I should have grabbed it like at the end, like sticking it out? No. I think this is gonna work just fine. Spin it. We're going to the car wash. <laughs> you should see the brush we built for Luakai. Yeah. The T handle for the mantis. We turn that thing on mm. drill mode. Zoom out on the <laughs> mic, please. Come on. Zoom out. Zoom out. Other way. Oh. Pack and this are opposite. Yeah. Zoom out a bit more. More. We're gonna uh, take a ride here for a while, so. Oh. Could yeah, we time we're to we a lost break if you want. What heading do you want, uh, Atlanta? Doesn't matter at the moment. Okay. Good zoom back in a little bit. I get to get my reference back. Zoom back in a little so I get the reference. So you want it back at the 10 meters? Um, <coughs> try and bring your head around to the starboard. Bring my head around to starboard. Yeah. Come around 180 degrees and look north. Or uh, coming around. And can't like this any much. Uh, 
Oh, we're fighting. That's what I wanted. I clicked the heading speed up. It was. with the camera. Yep. I keep heading it, Megan, so I can see the boat, please. The boat's down here. Yeah. The tilt keeps running away. It does. <laughs> Are you changing your heading again? Coming down five meters. The boat's running away from us. Is there? Yeah, I'll watch later. Looks like we're having trouble with our DP and we're just running south, southeast a bit. Okay. So uh, we're gonna have to just wait this out until they can get the ship back under control. Okay. You gonna get her stopped up there, are you? You're going faster and faster. We can maybe take this opportunity to try to look for bubbles on the sonar. I didn't can you say you again, Bridge? I I can't couldn't hear you. Okay. Um, if there's any way we could stop drifting, that would be great. Okay. All right, thanks. We'll, we'll just wait it out here. Uh, let me know when you've figured it out. Okay, maybe. Pan that nav screen, please. Okay. Yeah, that'd be great. Say so heading that we we uh, came away from to try to start moving forward instead of backwards. One knot. Mm, I'm sorry. At this depth, you have to be doing like ten knots. To I was still going backwards.
are going on an adventure. Thrusting forward at all? Um, he was trying. Uh, now we're still going backwards. Yeah, I see that. Oh, he's yeah. slowing it down a little bit. Nav, how far south are we from the uh, multi beam sonar target? We are. Miles away. Current, currently 170 meters away. Okay. So once the ship regains control, this is not a bad starting point for us to begin our bubble catching. Okay. So if they regain control, they can just sort of... Hold position? Hold position or sort of come back over top of where Hercules is, and we can begin our bubble catching moving back north towards the sonar. Okay. So that's... As opposed to... Getting to the ship to move all, all the way back and then just to come back here again to bubble catch later. So okay. we'll just swap so the order. Bubble catching it is. Yep. Thanks. And then you want to put the. Uh, yeah, I don't, don't want to do anything right now. You want to swap yeah, tools? Once, yeah. Once the, once the ship stops and you guys get control, then we can, we can swap tools. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're moving anymore. You can feel it. Ship's not moving, but Atlanta's 100 meters behind the stern, so. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so it's going to swing. All right, looks like we're making forward progress. Point one knots. Not quite the record, but <laughs> it was quick.
Should I stop the ship when we pass Atalanta? No, he's got to move in to get back to where we came from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let him move back. So our target right now is to be approximately 100 meters south of the sonar okay. that we were just at. So oh, if you can move the ship so that we're there, then we can take a northerly heading, which will give us the best chance of finding bubbles. Right. Oh, yeah, I saw that when we were, there were a bunch of clams um, when we got pulled away, that area. Makes sense. Yeah, we're not quite out of the woods yet. He's just got control of the vessel, so. Yeah, that's going to be a little while. And the map screen again. It's like here ish. Kind of feels like we're running a, a relay race or something. I was At just the thinking, Olympics. Yeah, I was just thinking it looked like we're in a video game. <laughs> and you're like, you have your weapon in front of you. <laughs> I'm trying not to get drugged. We like to clean up the, the ocean with the toilet <laughs> fresh of science. If we get tail to tail in this case at one knot, we wouldn't have been able to do anything but come up and get towed through the water. Mm -hmm. So we'll never be able to get hurt back around. No chance. Point eight. Yeah, it's got a fair current there, as you can see. Where did we uh, come off? Oh, from where we were? From the, pop, from the uh, sonar bell. Yeah, that was... Ball. Go ahead, bridge. Heading, uh, let's put in a 150 meter move at 315. Yeah, that, that works. Yeah, thanks. Now, yes. just to confirm, we're going to start south of the sonar by 100 meters. Yeah, I think so, because we drifted pretty far south over here, so I think she's trying to get us to about there. Yeah, but we, we still want to be 100 meters south of there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, okay. we're, we're quite further than that, so. Okay, okay. Would you, would you work out? Half a click? So I'm trying to get the, uh, the ship to be about 50 meters south of the multi-beam. Okay, put and then us that'll give us 50. enough room. Okay, perfect. Because we're currently oh, 270 meters away oh, yeah. from okay. the multi beam. We went on quite the adventure. <laughs> yeah, that's this watch done. Okay, Danny, put the freaking uh, brush on the box. You don't want to just hand it to the uh, mango? No, I'm going to put it back in the box. Okay.
right on top of where I wanted to be. <laughs> oh, next shift I'll deal with it. Uh, you can park that monster. Coming down. Mm. Pete, zoom in just a little bit to get rid of the uh, corona. Yeah, that's good too. Who's this guy? This mm -hmm. little fish. Hello, fish. He's telling you which way to face to put your nose into the current. Mm hmm. It's a cusk eel. Can you uh, turn the craft off? So <coughs> you can um, see by the way the fauna is leaning mm -hmm. and all the fish are um, facing. There's a really strong breeze pretty much to the south. Mm -hmm. So with the ROVs heading just a bit left of north, and I go forward, you can see my course over ground there. It's basically 315. Let's see if I can get it dialed in here. Yeah, Tilt up just a little with Atlanta. A little more. A little more. Okay. So see the tether streaming mm -hmm. way out behind the vehicle, even though I'm here. So the tether's jamming like this in the current. So there's about 30% down trim on right now. And just with the heading of the vehicle, stick is locked. To and still, we want to go three one five, right? Ready to try again?
first thing you do is unlock the stick lock and I have control of it. So the only auto that's on is auto uh, heading. The current's going to kite you up and float it up. So I want to stay about three, four meters? Uh, no, you can stay down one to two meters. If you come down now, you'll kind of see it pop. And that's a good distance out, so you can see the... Uh, that's kind of your box there. I'm going to tilt up just a little yeah. more. So basically you got to keep the... It doesn't run away. Keep Hercules in the center of that screen. And you'll be just fine. We call that the box because it literally is a box. So because the ship's moving 315, So you're rapidly flying out of the box. You'll run out of leash really quick. I, I can barely hear you. So you're, oh, you have to turn up your volume a little. My headset is louder, so how about now? That's better. A little better. That's your main volume there, sorry. Yep. This headset's really loud, so I have to turn the volume down. So you're rapidly flying out of your box now? So you want to keep Hercules in the middle of the... Atalanta screen, around. yeah, because you'll uh, you'll start pulling Atalanta around, pulling its heading off. What you're doing now, you see it bouncing. Yep. So you can uh, yeah find something to look at, have video zoom in on it, come oh, down to check out that crab. Yeah. Let's check out that crab. If you come down to uh, 1.6 meters of altitude. Uh, when he zooms in, you'll want the crab halfway between the lasers and the bottom of the screen. So if he zooms in now, it will zoom out of the screen. Yeah. Like if he zoomed in now, it would zoom on the... Uh, Do you want me to zoom in now? No, I'll okay. wait for <laughs> Danny to be ready. Okay. He said it three times, so I just wanted to check. Okay, you can zoom in now. That's gonna... Yeah, depending on how far away it is, I usually have it under the lasers. Zoom wide. So the closer you are to it, the easier it is to maintain it when it's zoomed in. So if it's so far away, yeah. when he zooms in, um, just a little movement with the vehicle, it's out of the picture. So I always try and get as close as I can before I zoom. And usually right in the bottom of the screen. More in the bottom of the screen as opposed to the top. So the lighting's better in the, when you're down low. That becomes the center of the picture when he zooms in. Yeah, now I'll try and zoom in. Can you zoom in? You can tilt your camera down a little too, wouldn't you? Other way. a little more, put, him, put the crab underneath the lasers, and then he can zoom in So You see where the lasers are on the screen now? Yeah. When he zooms all the way in, if he keeps zooming in, the lasers will disappear out of the top of the screen. So we do what, uh, I do what we call a laser zoom, where I zoom in where the lasers are just barely still visible on the screen, so then the scientists can tell how big that crab is, for example. Um, so you get a, a tight shot, but you still have the lasers in view. And you can also see, in that case, it's in your bubble camera. So you get a reference about how far it is in front of the vehicle.
him up a bit. Starting out, I'm going to put your camera here so you have this reference in front of you, and just barely in the bottom of the screen. So that'll help you to reference. Like if you come down now, um, you have it in bubble camera, but people tend to look at that screen more than they should. But you can kind of do a comparison. Of, so I look at that one all the time as a reference to how low I am if I'm not looking at my altitude. But I also use the altimeter. But that can be off depending on, you know, if you're going uphill or downhill. But looking at that will help you to uh, figure out your altitude and get a feel for the vehicle. Yeah, definitely. 